Nor is a playful Max for Life device conceived with a mindful approach. It's meant to be used to input, store and recall modulations on the fly using four simple dials that can be combined in different ways to achieve complex results. Its core idea is to give the user an enjoyable and intuitive platform to play with and stay in the moment, while at the same time providing parameters that allow the spontaneous input to be twisted and mangled without losing the flow. In the main part of its interface we can find the four knobs used to control the modulation signal. Each knob is surrounded by a ring that indicates its corresponding output value. The button in the lower part of each dial is used to select the respective knob and output its value. Its function changes according to the sequencer mode which can be set using the step button found in the leftmost side of the device. When the sequencer is turned off, the button acts as a toggle selector, allowing us to freely choose one of the four dials at a time. Otherwise, if the sequencer is active, it works as a momentary hold, locking the sequencer on the respective dial as long as it's being pressed. When a dial is selected, an orange line indicator appears. The recording session is located right below the selector button. With this, it is possible to record a non quantized gesture and playing it back on the dial. To start recording, press REC. The button flashes, meaning that recording is now enabled, but it's going to wait for a first movement of the knob before starting to capture. When moving the knob, the recording starts, the button stops flashing and stays on. In order to stop the recording, simply press the REC button again. As soon as the capture is stopped, the ring starts playing back the recorded gesture and the dial deactivates. It is possible to record a new gesture by clicking the REC button again and following the same procedure, while clicking on the X sign is going to erase any stored movement and reset the knob's empty state. The step section on the left is used to set up an internal sequencer that automatically scrolls throughout each dial according to the time resolution settings in sync with the project's tempo. The chance parameter determines the probability that the sequence is going to progress to the next step, used to avoid the linearity and create even more unexpected results. <laughs>